Good morning. Happy Monday. How are you today? Hopefully good. Hopefully not negative Nancy this morning. Mondays are hard. My kids did not want to go to school this morning. So that was fun. It was raining. They didn't want to get out of bed. So that was fun. If you're watching the replay, drop replay in the comments. Jenny, my girl, my fellow boy mom. <laughs> Jenny, I got to get you on the celery juice. Do you think you could do the celery juice with me? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everyone. All right. As usual, coming to you from my car. You guys, I spent not a lot of money, but money on a backdrop to like sit in front of at home and do all my live videos. I had this whole big idea that I was going to do all my live videos from home with a backdrop. Not happening. This is way better. More natural. People can relate. So if you have a backdrop and you're stressing yourself out about your lighting and your backdrop, you don't need all that stuff. No. What up? I know I need the juice. <laughs> do you have a juicer, Jenny? Anyway, if you don't know who I am and you're like, who's this weirdo lady sitting in her car drinking green juice? My name is Shannon Hine. I am a stay-at-home mom to three boys. The school year started, and I know, I know a lot of kids are starting school today, so God bless all the moms and dads out there getting their kids off to school. Mine have been in school for a week and a half already, so we are starting, you know, week two of a full week. I live in my car. I live in my car too, Jenny, for real. I have everything in here. Everything but my juicer, pretty much. All right, so let me get into my topic real quick. All right, so the title of this video is How I've Earned Over $100,000 in Network Marketing. Um, well, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am now with my third company in seven years. I was with Beachbody for four and a half years, a wine company, wine club company for about a year and a half, and now with my new company, the number one hair care line in North America. Love it, love it, love it. I've been doing that for a little over a year now. So I just wanted to get down to the nitty gritty and share with you all how I've earned over $100,000 in this profession. <clears throat> and I have, I've broken it down into five, five categories. And the first is openly sharing my story. So uh, sometimes you just have to get over the fact that people may judge you or criticize you. Uh, and it, you know, it's taken me, it took me, you know, a year or two to finally kind of get over myself. And instead of putting all the uh, focus on myself, I, I decided that there was probably some people out there in the same experience that I was in. I was a stay at home mom. I was trying to lose weight and I just, said to myself, it's not about me. It's about helping other people. So that really helped me get over myself and helped me to share more authentically on my social media. Um, and I did say on my iPhone. So I have very rarely, if ever done a home party, a meeting in person. I've done this all from social media, mostly Facebook, a little bit of Instagram. Um, but the first thing that I'll say is I have been openly sharing my story and you know my experience with the companies, the products, the people, all of that. So you always wanna be sharing your story. Um, the second is offering help or info for free. So when I was a health and fitness coach, I ran a lot of five day challenges for free, just helping people stay motivated, encouraged, um, giving them the accountability they were looking for. So it wasn't always about selling, selling, selling. I was looking for ways that I could add value to people's lives for free. So that's a huge one. Um, so whatever um, company you're in, come up with ideas or ways that you can um, help people for free. And if you've ever read the book, Jab, 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 Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, if you love Gary Vaynerchuk, give me some love, give me some fire signs. Uh, if you're not following Gary Vaynerchuk and you are thinking about owning your own business, starting your own business, you definitely should follow him. He is a crazy maniac and he just tells it like it is. Uh, but after reading his book, whenever that came out, five years ago, uh, Jab, 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 Right Hook, it really talks about how to show up on social media, adding value, 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 
and then asking for the sale or promoting your product or service. Because the more value you can bring to people for free, the more likely they're going to be to want to um, try what you have to offer. Number three, um, I've showed up every single day for seven years. Every single day. Either in a reaching out to people, posting on social media, um, doing videos, whatever. I have showed up almost every single day, maybe a couple days here and there uh, where I didn't. Because sometimes, as we all know, social media can become overwhelming. It feels a little bit too much. We need a break. Um, and that's totally cool. Uh, but I have showed up every single day. So people um, know who I am. They've been following my story. And I've been consistent AF. <laughs> if you know what AF means, let me know. Um, number four. Um, so a lot of us can get frustrated about seeing people's highlight reels. We call it the highlight reel on Facebook, social media, that everyone's life is perfect and everyone's just rolling in dough and their team is amazing and nothing is going wrong when that could be further from the truth. So just like any other job or profession, there are ups and downs. There are people that um, turn out to be shady. There are people that you trusted that turn out to be crappy people. It's all there. Jenny, yes, consistency is everything for sure, especially uh, when you're trying to build a business on social media. You can't be popping in and out. Um, so being comfortable with sharing your vulnerable side or your failures is really what's going to resonate with people the most. Um, I have failed a lot, a lot. Um, as you know, I'm, I, I just started this video by saying I've been with three different companies. And honestly, I don't really see that as a failure. I feel like um, each time I moved on, it was necessary. So I look at, at, look at those as stepping stones more so than failures. Um, so, you know, be, be honest about the things that you screwed up with. I've screwed up a lot, a lot. I've said the wrong things. I've word vomited on people. I've, um, I think I'm sure I could come up with a few others. Um, I gave up too quickly on occasion. Uh, I maybe have gotten on a phone call that I, um, stumbled over my words and I just didn't feel like I was on my A game, but you know, I continue to show up. I continue to show up. So the last one is, let's see. Oh, committed to personal growth and development and learning. So I am the type of person I love to learn. I love, love, love to learn. And I always seek out opportunities to learn. And I got to the point where I, you know, if, if somebody said, uh, will you speak at this event or speak on this call? And I was scared to death. I have learned that if I just said yes and figured out after the fact, I've learned so much more from facing my fears than from letting them control me. So I've also, you know, I, I was committed to listening to the people who are successful in my company, listen to their videos, uh, reading books, um, taking advice from my mentors who are already where I want to be. How did they get there? So I am always just craving new information, knowledge, what successful people are doing. So um, that has helped me tremendously. And all of those things combined have helped me earn over $100,000 in network marketing. And this is all very, very part-time. I've been a mom. I've been a mom of three boys ever since I started this profession. And they were all teeny tiny when I started. So if you're the person that's um, making up excuses as to why you can't do this or fit it into your schedule, I'm calling BS on you. <laughs> Love to learn, but hate to read. Emily, I hate to read too. I listen to audiobooks. I've probably read cover to cover three books in my entire life. Thank God for podcasts and audiobooks. They're helpful. So just to recap real quick, number one, openly sharing my story. Two, offering help or info for free. Three, showed up every single day, consistency. Four, um, not just sharing my highlight reel, but sharing um, my failures and maybe, you know, the not so great moments. And the last is committed to personal growth and learning. So if this was helpful to you, let me know. Share it out. Tag somebody. I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, I'm going to try to do a live video every day this week. So hopefully um, you're enjoying them. And uh, like I said, I hope you have a great Monday.